The shipping container house is just way worse than we thought. Water definitely came in from that window there. And these stairs are still wrong and need to be ripped out. Like what the f But before we jump ahead of ourselves, I'm Tyler and this is Todd. A few years ago, we had the idea to build a house using shipping containers. The design was ambitious. A three bed, two bath house, three 40 foot containers on the bottom and another cantilevered over top. Just as the containers were lifted and fused into place, the project fell apart. Everyone from the contractors to inspectors somehow missed that the staircase wouldn't have enough space to exit onto the upper level, which meant it was back to the drawing board. Nearly a year of design revisions, engineering and approvals later, a stairwell tower and upper floor addition was the answer to getting things back on track. Or so we thought. With deficiencies beginning to pile up, we made the decision to handle things ourselves. But truthfully, the reality that we'd have to spend a fourth winter living without modern amenities, even the ability to take a shower inside, finally broke us. You feel good? Um, I feel cheap. We decided to purchase this cozy timber frame cabin located on a nearby lake so we could take the winter and regroup. While we've waited for the snow to melt, we've spent our days breathing new life into this space and we still have some exciting projects to go. But with warmer weather just around the corner and a new contractor who actually knows their stuff, it's time we deal with these issues head on. Now that we're all up to speed, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and come along. Good morning. We have just been setting up to do a very exciting project that we've been putting off for a little while now. Yeah. We're gonna do over this bathroom. I'm excited for it. I think the blue, we were gonna leave it for a bit, but the blue is just such a contrast to how the bedroom turned out that yeah. we might as well bring the white paint in here. We also kind of wanted to use this as our test pilot, I guess, before we do our bedroom bathroom. There are quite a few design ideas that we have that we've never <laughs> attempted before that we're yeah. gonna we're gonna do in this space first. And also like cost saving. We'll get into them later. But yeah. yeah, I think it's gonna be a fun project and also if it messes up, who cares? It's a guest bathroom. Yeah, but for now we're gonna get to work on filling in all of the holes. We've got some drywall damage we need to deal with and we're just gonna go for it. <laughs> and I wanna try this. It's a thing my parents got me for putting tape on. I don't know how it works, but we're gonna see how it goes. So then you would just take your tape and go like that. Oh, blue tape on a blue wall. How yeah. do you feel? Luckily, it's all temporary. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay, what should I do? Do you want me to start taking like fixtures and stuff off the walls, start filling holes, all that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're gonna take like all the face plates off the plugs and switches and the mirrors gotta come down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get started on that. Get filling those <laughs> Yeah. I know, I know, we'll run the race before us. I'll go, I'll go, wherever the wild winds blow. It's hard to tell where I've been taking because the blue blends in. You wouldn't even notice that this was taped. No. I like that we're feeling motivated though. Yeah, it's about time. This is what life's about, love. We just can't live without love. I know without a doubt, love. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Coming up from the deck? Yeah, just to get a tool, I'm going back. So you want me to start doing the toilet? Well, yeah, we're replacing it with a higher one. Like it's too low. Way too low. My knees can't take it. How do you get all the water out of the toilet? Alexa, how do I get all the water out of the toilet to change it? From sensibleitakes.com. You can empty the bowl by using a toilet plunger to get rid of all the water. Shouldn't I get rid of the plunger? Like the star of a porno. I heard someone's pads glowed. <laughs> Keep going. Ooh, I actually did it. Look at you. The muscles. I'm gonna stick this down the poo hole so it doesn't stink. It already does. Ooh, plug that poo hole. Hey. Hey. Hi. You just caught us in the middle of plugging the poo hole. <laughs> Is that our bathroom? Here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw your comment card, so we're trying to make it better for your next day. <laughs> 
I know they're anonymous, but you were the first guest. Good Let's see what that does. Could the countertop instead come with a little lip? Like what they had? Yeah. I don't like that look as much. But you know what I mean? It would hide the shitty drywall behind it too. Yeah. Would we just do that on this side too? Keep it simple? Keep it simple. Then we don't have to with it. Perfecting this drywall. That's gonna take me a while. A long time. When like having a little yep, love it. Onwards and upwards. Okay, so what's the plan? We're gonna tilt back and then lean forward. Now all I need poop water is hot in there. So now that all the demo is done, we got to work on filling in all of the holes with mud, got it all sanded down. The room is looking really, really good. We're ready to move on to the next step which is painting and then everything else that comes along with that. But this room is really small for two of us to be working, so Todd's gonna get to work on that. He's the delegated painter. Well, it kind of works well because I enjoy painting and yeah. you really don't like it, and your task I don't like doing and you don't mind doing it, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna run into the city and pick up all of the supplies that we need from the toilets to the countertops to figuring out really everything that we need to do this project. I so. think we've got a pretty detailed list. The only thing we're missing is the blind. Oh yeah, okay, I'll measure that before I go and I'll find one for that too. Okay. And yeah, we're gonna right, divide gonna and keep conquer. Keep bringing up painting supplies. Okay, good luck. Have fun in the city. I will. I'll probably get us some dinner for tonight too. Ooh. Okay. If you don't, don't come home. <laughs> okay, all right, we're gonna head on. It always feels right. It don't cost nothing, a beautiful life. Make it mean something. All right, so the first place I'm gonna try is Home Depot. They normally have quite a few options, so give her a go. We really don't have very many, and it's super expensive. A lady came up to me, she actually watches the vlog, and she told me that Home Depot gets all of their countertops from a supplier here, and it's a way better deal, so we're gonna head there now, see what we can find. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I get to do painting is actually take these light fixtures down. So we have new ones that are going in and the circumference of the part that goes onto the wall is smaller. So if I didn't take them off, I'd be left with a blue ring around the new lights. So I've got all the power turned off in the house, so I'm not gonna shock myself and I'm just gonna quickly pop these off. I forgot my electric screwdriver downstairs. So we're doing this old school hand tools. Just working with my hands today. Okay, and then I'll just put this back together so we know where the parts are in case we want to reuse them. And if not, we'll donate them to Habitat for Humanity. We started to believe it's life changing, setting me free. Love is waiting. We gotta spread the love, spread the love, spread the so glad I made the trip to come here and actually look at the countertops in person. Look at this one. There are so many, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different ones to choose from. At a box store, they only had a couple samples. Actually coming in and seeing all of these beautiful slabs in person, it's totally worth it. This one looks like a forest. This would actually be really cool at the land. Imagine that as like an island in the containers. You could see the trees. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. I don't know how I'm gonna pick out a counter. I'm just gonna keep looking. Come on, give a little smile, it's a cherry on top. Pass a little joy, make a heart go pop. Love don't stop, it'll keep going, just watch. What you give is what you get. Everything is coming back. What you give is what you get. Gotta give till nothing's left. All right, I think that looks good. Maybe we'll just go with one accent wall. No, I should keep going. I'm gonna keep going. We're on the home stretch now. Let's power through and get her done. Get her done. It's hard with all these angles to get in these spaces, but I'm doing the best I can. And that's all anyone can ask of me. Cause that's not what they're always gonna get, so. Take it or leave it, I say. Oh yes. Look at that, another little crevasse completely painted. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm seriously crushing this. Two coats down, one to go, and while the second coat is drying, the timing couldn't have been more perfect because it's actually time for my monthly check-in with my therapist, and that's thanks to the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online therapy platform that connects you with a licensed therapist. Ty and I have been using it for years and it has honestly made such a huge difference in both of our lives. For me personally, it's allowed me to work through some emotions and things that I've been holding back on to allow myself to grow and become the mature person I always wanted to be. When you first start with BetterHelp, you complete a survey and that's how you get matched with your first therapist. What's great though, is as I've grown and encountered new things, I've been able to change therapists to help me continue that growth without any fees. You can do video chats, phone calls, or even direct messaging in between sessions when you just need a little bit of words of encouragement or to just check in. If you wanna try BetterHelp for yourself, make sure you head over to betterhelp.com slash Tyler Todd. That's betterhelp.com slash Tyler Todd, and you'll save 10% off your first month. I'll also put that link down in the description box in case you want to click it there. But for now, I'm going to get ready for my session and hopefully Tyler's doing okay in the city. Okay, so I have spent literally the last hour walking around and looking at every single slab that they have here. I don't know if like the scale of this is clear or not. There are 31 rows, 31 of all of these slabs, like I've I've just, I've never been in a facility like this, so it's pretty mind blowing to see the options. Normally, I get overwhelmed when there's so many options because any one of these could be beautiful, but I did find the one. Look at this. Our original plan was we were gonna pour concrete countertops ourselves, but in all the research we read online, it's really not a good idea because it's so porous. So in a kitchen, it's obviously a very wet environment, same as the bathrooms, and we want all the countertops to match. So by going with a quartz, this one here is a quartz, and it looks exactly like concrete, I think it's a way better option. It's gonna increase the longevity of it and prevent us from having to replace it in the future. And also, I just realized it's gonna match the light fixtures so perfectly. Our vision for the lake is to just have very natural and neutral materials. So the white walls, the wood beams, and then concrete. Yeah, this is the one. I don't need to look at anything else. I'm gonna go book it, because there's only one slap left, so hopefully that works. Okay, so this is very random. I was just using the bathroom before I left. And look at this sink that they have in here. So there's no bowl, it's just this little tiny slit and the water goes down perfectly. It kind of feels like it's beveled. How cool would that be? You think Tal will go for it? I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ask him about it before I go. All right, we'll catch you back at the lake. Okay, time to keep going. What you give is what you get. Everything is coming back. I got everything that I needed in the city except for the one thing that I was specifically told to get, which well, was dinner. It's, I feel like I don't even have to tell you or I shouldn't have to tell you. It's kind of an unspoken rule. If we go into the city, we get takeout for dinner. Yeah. It's just a, it's a reward for going into the city. <laughs> it's a reward. But instead we whipped up a breakfast skillet, which I'm It's actually, gonna be better. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be pretty good. <laughs> Oops. You did what you could. I did what I could. You know, I'm not professionally trained, but I do what I can. I'm channeling my inner Ina. It's been actually a really nice yeah. night. We've just been like playing with the boys and squirrel. Are you squirming? Are you squirming worm. Mm hmm? I thought I had a little dog, but I got a little worm. Oh, oh wow. Bring him up, Charles. Come show us. Oh, wow. He caught this son of a bitch out in the yard. Oh, that's Rudolph. That's Rudolph. That is Rudolph for that's sure. That's Rudolph's cousin Randy. We ended up having a couple glasses of wine up in the bathroom. It's looking so good. A couple then... of glasses of wine down here. <laughs> we're just, we're saving up for a bottle drive. <laughs> We're doing what we can. <laughs> Gotta simulate the economy, right? We're just helping, <laughs> helping Little League. Um, <laughs> we donate our um, our recyclables to our niece and nephew <laughs> for sports. Anyway, that's all we have to say about that, so. Yeah. <laughs> Oh 
Good night. <laughs> Good morning. We are taking a little bit of a break from working on the bathroom to deal with something a little bit more important. We're at the containers. We've been spending the morning here going through everything, trying to come up with a list of what needs done to get this back on track. Yeah, it's definitely a big list. There's a lot of little things, a lot of big things, but we did find a new contractor that we know and trust, which yeah. is awesome after everything fell apart with our last one. So yeah, he's actually just getting here now. We're gonna go through everything with him and I'm sure he's gonna find more things than yeah. we did. I mean, like we're not the experts in this. We have a list of what we think needs done, but it's gonna be good to have someone go through all the deficiencies, so. Let's meet up with him and get this figured out. Well, this deer, see, there's just, there's nothing here, right? Yeah, the hinge is all looks like the seahouse. Yeah, yeah. You can see it in the floor. The doors and stuff are obviously still leaking, but part of it is we don't have gutters or anything to move the water away from the house. We don't have the siding on. Yeah, but there still shouldn't be leaking. I cannot say enough how relieved I am that Dumpy is here. You may recognize him from when we built the dome deck, but he's also done some work for my parents. He built them a beautiful new kitchen and a few other projects at their house. So it feels really nice having someone that we know and trust and is a family friend here helping us with this because if you've been following along with this saga of trying to build a shipping container house, you'll understand just how much trouble we've been having with trades and the amount of deficiencies that we've found is quite a bit, but then today he just keeps finding more and more things. So yeah, I feel really good having someone that we trust and we're just gonna keep going and see how many more issues we need to fix from someone else's work. Because you can see the gap and it's closed on the top and Quite a gap there in the bottom. And what do we got here? Two and a half. And over here we've got one and three quarters. How are you feeling? Um, relieved, watch your step. I'm definitely <laughs> relieved that Dumpy is here, but the shipping container house is just way worse than we thought. So the biggest thing is these stairs. I swear they're gonna be the death of us. If you remember the original design two years ago, none of this was here because we hired experts and we were supposed to have a staircase inside the shipping containers. That didn't work, so we hired more experts to build this staircase tower and these stairs are still wrong and need to be ripped out and it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> this one's eight. And this one is five. <laughs> like what the? We aren't gonna spiral no. because at least we actually know what we're dealing with, we have a plan. The amount of deficiencies, it's way too much to go through. Like, it, it's well, unbelievable. So the thing with the stairs is they're not to code. So stairs have to rise at the same amount per step, otherwise it's a tripping hazard because if yeah. your foot's expecting to go seven inches and one stair is eight inches, that's a weird thing for your body. These are all at different heights. One of them is at six and a half, a couple are at seven. We got a few that are pushing over eight inches high. And yeah. then this landing that we're standing on is only being supported with a wedged up two by four on this side, not even attached to the walls. And if it was attached to the walls, there's issues with the foundation of how the tower is attached to the shipping containers. This corner of this 34 foot tower is literally not held up by anything. So you see this helical pile right here? This is attached to the containers. This is attached to nothing. Like there needs to be foundation support here. Wild. You're gonna it's be just, fine, breathe. It's a lot and all I wanna do is get out of here and go home and work on our bathroom. Yeah, well, okay. Remember the silver lining we just talked about. Oh, I know. It's going to be fine. Like the thing is, we have a plan. Yes, it's overwhelming. We have a lot that we need to work through, but we have someone we trust. It is going to be okay. We're gonna tackle every single problem as it comes up. We've made it this far. It's- We're just gonna, like Dory said, just keep swimming. Yeah, it is unfortunate, but at least we kind of have a plan. So we're gonna go home and we have some meetings this afternoon. We're gonna meet with the engineer. We're gonna figure out exactly everything we need to do and get in queue with contractors, so. That's all we can do. After you, my love. We'll spare you the boring details of all the meetings and computer work we did over the last few days, trying to come up with a construction schedule. It's been a lot of moving parts, but truthfully, we're feeling pretty good about our plan. That's what we're telling ourselves for now anyway. 
The good news is, a few days later, the Livingstone crew arrived to install the new countertops in the bathroom. Really glad we went to them, because not only was it super quick to make, they're also removing the existing countertops, installing the new ones, but they're also making modifications right here on site, like the perfect placement for the faucet. Some things are just best left to the experts, and we couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Would totally use Livingstone again for our next project. Okay, so truthfully, we have like 5% of the bathroom <laughs> finished. There's so much left to go. Yeah, definitely more than we thought we were biting off, but it's gonna be worth yeah. it in the end. Our plan was to have it fully finished this week, but yeah. other things came up, plus it got really beautiful. So we were like, why are we gonna be cooped up in the bathroom after such a long winter? Yeah, so I've been sneaking away in the days, and like I set up this area, and yeah. this was all upcycled. So these are the loungers from By the Pond. This is the carpet from the Dome Gazebo. This was in the yard at the land, and yeah. I just made a little seating area off of our bedroom. It's perfect for morning. As you can see, it's Charlie and Eddie approved. Yeah. They just <laughs> hang out with us here on the loungers, but what ended up happening is we're having a morning coffee out here enjoying the view of the lake it is so beautiful and then Todd's like all he can see is all the projects on the ground to do so the ADHD is firing on all cylinders oh all cylinders <laughs> you guys he's ripped up the gardens he spent two full days out here working on it and it is gorgeous it looks amazing but that wasn't enough for him yeah well so about the gardens and then we'll go on to the next project okay. but they were just they have a lot of potential they're just overgrown so i've just been out there by myself you know figuring out what plant needs a little bit of a trim what needs a full buzz cut edging yeah. the gardens into the lawn i'm i'm loving it so then he said he finally gets down to the water area and he's like god like all these rocks what a mess wouldn't it be nice if if it was an actual beach if we had a beach so, he spent another few days lifting out all of these big rocks. It's starting to look like a beach. Getting there. Got some rocks in the sand. Over here is really good. Getting jacked. Getting jacked, <laughs> yes. Summer, <laughs> summer body's coming. But it actually looks way, way better. It's for real a beach now. There was so much sand underneath all of the rocks. So, there's still a little bit to go, but I think it looks amazing. Do you want to go see it? Yeah, every time we said beach, just just then the boys like their ears that's like their favorite trigger word i have a quick question who wants to go to the beach do you want to go to the beach you ready for the beach let's go buddy through the tree angels fade front of me in time tap the sound of the waves and just like the feeling down here, it actually feels like we're on the ocean. It's I love it. Wild. New favorite place, I think. Yeah. He did such a good job. So what Todd did was he stacked all the rocks up against that underneath that oak tree. Yeah, and I filled in like with little rocks and some sand and stuff because yeah. that tree, like I don't want it to fall over, but all the ground in its root system was gone. So hopefully yeah. we saved it. Hey. Were you in the water? Your face is wet. <laughs> You're not supposed to be in there yet. It's hard to believe though. Like a month ago we were skating on this. I know. And now the boys are just begging to go swimming. Yeah, you never know. We could go skating yet still. It's supposed to be really cold and we're even supposed to get snow next week, which, yeah, yeah I don't know. It's that denial. weird time of year where like one day it's nice, the next day it's snowing, and then yeah. you'll get a week of rain. Like you just got to make the most of it when you can. Yeah, okay. the joys of spring in Canada. Yeah. Hey? When the sun's out, build a beach. What do you think? That one was in my mouth. Is it time to go swimming? You guys can go for a quick dip, okay? Pull the dip. Go ahead. Charlie, do you want to go swimming? Go swim. All right, we'll see you Sunday. Mm -hmm.